Hey Taurus, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you all are doing well. This is the other person reading. If you're new here, welcome. This is intended for those that seek insight and information about an ex-partner. May also be someone that ghosted you recently or just anyone you're not in talking terms with at this time, okay? Please keep in mind that the messages here are general. And if you're here as cross-watcher, it can also be vice versa. If it doesn't resonate for you, my dear, kindly check your other signs for additional information. And we are going to be using several decks today. Let's start with this one, okay? This is for the other person Taurus is dealing with. All right, first card, we have education. All right, so you're dealing with someone at the moment, could be finding some answers going over the connection right now they could be doing some digging some research getting down to the details of this but also i'm getting that they don't want to show you or let you know that they're actually struggling to get the answers this is someone who doesn't want to admit that they don't know everything it's like when they made a decision about you they could have came off as i know what i was doing i'm sure about this I know that this is what I want to do, but right now they're feeling confused. That's why they're going over what has happened between the two of you. They could be starting to feel like they may have made a rush decision or impulsive decision. We have here the strength card, okay? So you see this woman trying to balance the world in one hand. I see that that's how difficult this person's situation is at this time but refuses to admit it or refuses anyone to know about this. Maybe it does talk about their strength, but oftentimes strength can also mean letting others in, letting others help you, letting others heal you, letting others love you, right? Maybe you're dealing with someone who has a very strong, independent nature. They feel like they can do everything on their own. And that could be, you know, something that at first, attracted you like this is a very independent person but it's hard it's hard to make an emotional connection when someone always have their defenses up their walls up you know and we have magic prayer i see that this individual deep down is asking for something here to manifest between the two of you they could be putting this in a prayer they could be sending this intention to universe. But I see that they could be holding back at, the, at this time, right? This trend card can mean, can mean they're controlling their feelings. They don't want to show that they're actually struggling right now. It could be a good thing or a bad thing. really depends on this person's situation. Because I do sense a little bit of a pride element going on here, all right? So let's see, what is this person's energy towards you at this time? We have here, I love you. Th these are powerful words. So this is actually the cover of the box. I love this card. It means that this person, no matter how high their wall is, no matter how much they push you away, this is an individual who actually loves you who has deep feelings for you. All right, maybe ego and pride is getting in the way, but beyond that tough exterior is someone who has a soft spot for you, Taurus. Yep, and you see, honesty is essential. It says here, speak with love and truth. I do have a sense that this person is in denial, and that is pretty hard to deal with because they can't be honest with these feelings, about these feelings, and they need to be honest about how they really feel. They need to first be honest with themselves. Take down that mask here. Right? They could be also afraid of commitment for some of you. This is something they're having a difficulty saying. Like, I love you. They, they are afraid of this being revealed. I see someone who's... The, maybe they, they feel like they're doing a good job concealing their feelings. But you guys intuitively can feel this. For some reason, I'm, I'm, I'm getting that you are aware they're putting on a mask here. 
So let's see your energy towards them. Be authentic. Be real and true to who you are and how you feel. So you want this person to be truthful, to be transparent and straightforward, you know? Maybe you want them to step up. Like, are they willing to let go of pride? Are they willing to put down the mask and be really vulnerable with their feelings? Become really true and honest? But also, for some of you, you might be the one holding back from this individual. Um, because it says here, be authentic. Be real and true to how you really see and feel this person, Taurus. Get to know each other. Learn to meet another's need for love. All right, so what I'm sensing here, because somebody is in denial with their feelings, they could be pushing others away and having a difficulty showing their authentic self. Like at first, when you got to know this individual, like I said, some qualities that they're exhibiting now, maybe something you like about this person before, like they're independent, they're strong, strong head, strong personality, but now you're finding it as something that is difficult to work with. Um, you want to put you want to let somebody know that they don't have to be defensive all the time all right because now you, you guys are getting to know someone deeper on a soul level on an emotional level and you begin to see all these qualities that is not working out right now there are certain patterns that you're noticing right and you want to let this person know that it's not working out you no know, they need to change these patterns this behavior and on your end as well, maybe there's something here that this person wants you to change about so that things can work out for the two of you. Let's see. But it's all about being really authentic and coming clean with someone's true feelings, okay? Let's see. Additional messages, please, Spirit, about this other person that Taurus is dealing with at this time. So, the moon card. Hmm? Something is not what it seems, Taurus. I'm getting that. They're doing some hiding here. They could be also hiding to, their, to themselves here. Like, something is not what it seems. But they're overthinking right now. I see sleepless nights. They think about you at night. At night time, right? They say at night time, we, come, we, we become really vulnerable. We put our guards down. We get in touch with our deep feelings, right? There could, there could also be something here that is blocking this person from communicating these feelings. There could be fear, insecurities. The moon card can also mean that they have you a lot in their dreams as well. They might be getting a lot of downloads right now, but they're overthinking it. They don't know how to act on these feelings. The magician means um, being really confident to put ideas into action. It talks about as well someone's confidence, okay? Right now, they're struggling getting the confidence that they need or just the focus to address these issues, this confusion going on, okay? So we're going to put that on the side. That is something that Spirit wants to bring to the forefront. Piscean energy could also be a Virgo. Hard to matter is the Sun of Cups. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. But like I said, this person is doing a good job, or so they think, of hiding their true feelings. This is somebody on the outside may have a poker face or lacking expression. There's a tough exterior. But deep down, this person is very deep, very mysterious as well. Um, if they've been isolated for a while, they might be in this stealth mode for some reason. I'm getting that away but always on the lookout um but they have this deep void in their heart at this time see the candle just died they have a deep void right now and they have this feeling that they want to fill their cup but yet their mind is not letting them take action towards this okay this is also a very romantic individual i see that sometimes they could be following their bliss here one moment they're really committed the next they're not um, it depends on how they feel or what they feel at this time. That's what I'm seeing. Now, the challenge is the judgment card. You may have had one or two cycles with this person before. And in those cycles, you really get to know somebody, somebody's patterns. And maybe you realize some of them could be 
weighing you down, dragging you down. It was a difficult emotional turmoil that you've experienced as well because you wanted to help this individual. You want to help heal the connection. But with the judgment card here, you could also be making a decision. Should I reconcile, reconnect, or give this person another chance, okay? Or this person might be thinking this way. Like, what do I do? What do I need to do? How do I get myself to ask for forgiveness or second chance to Taurus? This is what I'm sensing. Also, releasing the past. Somebody needs to release past patterns here. Like I said, maybe there's habits, there's behavior. If they're too defensive, if they're too secretive. Yep, because we did see the card earlier, like be authentic. They tend to be really mysterious and they do some concealing over here it may work at first in terms of building attraction but if it's commitment this might be bringing some issues and troubles into connection because you want someone to be more straightforward right so the root or cause of that we have the ten of wands is the energy of hitting the rock bottom okay somebody right now is not admitting that this is already a burden it seems like a one-sided situation as well like look at this woman trying to hold the world in her hand while balancing as well that is a difficult task somebody could be holding on in this connection but is really struggling to keep it together because it's so hard um it's weighing this person down that could be your energy you might be taking a break from this partnership taurus because you don't want this burden anymore you want to prioritize yourself you want to get back and focused and you want to cater to your needs is what I'm getting here too. So in the recent past, we have the Page of Swords. This is air energy, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. There might have been some stalking. Um, I see that this person may not tell you outright or may not reach out to you, but best believe they're watching you. They're in your maybe circle or maybe this is social media just know that they're getting some information about this because they're trying to make a decision how to proceed and move forward but also one party here is very straightforward and I sense that that could be you while the other person is non-confrontational they're afraid of being confronted here you could have said some things that are truthful yet they found it a little bit um, I don't want to say offensive because you may have caught them out for, you may have called them out for not being honest and straightforward, right? This is be authentic. You said things in black and white, Taurus. And this made this individual a little bit uncomfortable. And you were trying to penetrate the wall that they built. Okay? Maybe you guys tried to call out their behavior. And they don't want to listen. They were not someone that can be teachable. Yeah, this is all making sense now. Um, I'm just reading the cards here. I kind of feel like this is someone who doesn't want to admit that they, didn't, they don't know everything. And you could have said something that was on your mind. But they didn't really want to listen at that time. You felt like this it's useless trying to convey the message to this person because their mind is very closed off or closed-minded, okay? So sometimes the truth hurts, but that's exactly why it hurts because it's true it's meant to maybe address some past patterns or issues that no longer is good or healthy for this individual so the what this what this person is thinking right now we have the eight of pentacles i told you guys earlier this might be someone who is at the moment studying something studying the connection but also they're focused on work they're focused on building financial stability some of them could actually be trying to patch the pieces of this relationship together. They could be now desiring to take action. But this is all happening in the background, okay? They're not still being up front, all right? They're, they could also be trying to fill up the void that they feel. They're working on themselves, okay? But still quite isolated. I, I still feel like this person could be pushing others away, okay? Now, what's coming in the immediate future is the Mother of Swords. Interesting. Daughter and Mother of Swords. So, I sense that you have also gained a lot of wisdom and enlightenment 
going through this from a daughter of swords it started out as maybe an idea right and now with the mother of swords your intuition is backing you up Taurus there's a pattern here that you observe clearly with this person and it's like you're reading them with that kind of clarity that you have you're now able to make sound decision about this and I feel like mother of swords and be authentic card here maybe you feel like this person is just not being honest with you all this time they're not also being honest with themselves I see a lot of watching here you could also be in stealth mode observing this person from afar observing if this person has changed already if there's some improvement in this that might actually be why you're holding back from recommitting okay um, you're being smart about this is what I'm saying Taurus because you don't want to go back to a situation that has drained you okay so well there's a lot of court cards in this reading might be that a lot of people try to get involved or this was what you struggled with with this individual if they were not being upfront and they were putting on a mask some of you guys could have found out about this behavior okay they kept you in the dark about this for some time but you see how the dove has ascended you got the clarity of the mind here they tried to cover up something from you right they tried to block you from not seeing that but you saw it anyways this is kind of like a player vibes with the father of wands but i also want to point out that this is someone very passionate strong personality so i see that the reason why you can't get through to them before was because they have a very strong personality they don't want to admit certain things they also are a little bit overbearing sometimes when you do have a conversation that you maybe are looking if this person is going to humble themselves and become teachable or open for your ideas it's hard because this father of wands tends to just do what they want to do here okay wherever their bliss takes them or whatever their passion is at this time how this person sees you we have the father of cups yeah a lot of people definitely got involved maybe this was you finding out a secret okay something is now being illuminated something that you've been hunching about you found out you got the clarity that you need with the magician your mind is very clear you realize they could be potentially talking to somebody else got sidetracked okay but they don't want to admit it as well I'm really strongly sensing denial here they will deny it to death okay that's what I'm seeing but you guys learn from that this is something that actually I feel like you guys are just realizing that it's maybe a waste of your time learning to trust or trying to trust this individual if they still refuse to change here now they see you as becoming really really distant that you are walking away you are emotionally walking away from this connection hopes and fears four of wands for you guys I kind of feel like you are afraid to go back to that kind of commitment with somebody because you went all in before you fully dive in in this commitment but after finding out what you found out you no longer want to be committed to this person um, also someone is hoping that you can open yourself for the idea of commitment if they're they are coming in with an emotional offer but you guys are focused on stability here on your happiness you're looking forward for the future this is what I'm sensing with you guys you are in a better spot because you're honest with how you feel and you're true to who you are um, this person is still working on releasing themselves from the denial or the mask that they're wearing here because you have a lot of swords in this that means the conflict is now coming to an end on your on your part you see things clearly now okay as the final outcome is the ten of cups there will still be a sense of emotional fulfillment here I see that but this can also mean the truth will set you free okay releasing the past once that is handled when someone sets free of the past this will get back to a joy of balance a, a path of joy and balance okay 
and emotional fulfillment. Why is the Son of Cups here, please? We have the Mother of Wands. Whoa. So that just clarified what I was hunching a while ago. There could have been a third party energy. I didn't want to say it before, but now I'm seeing there was a third party energy. There was somebody in between and somebody got distracted. Somebody deceived you or manipulated this situation. Ace of Cups. So you guys are withholding accepting the cup that they're offering you don't want to reconcile for now yeah you can forgive this person but i, I feel like you're closing off your heart because you're not sure if this cup that they're offering is even true anymore why is the ten of wands here two of pentacles so i see that right now this person could be juggling okay this is a juggler this is someone who actually has somebody on their mind if they don't reach if they don't get the communication or response from you or they could be in this energy of they're trying to make a tough choice they don't know how to go about this situation with you anymore um they kind of feel like they're stuck here why is the daughter of swords here please ace of pentacles there was a solid beginning between the two of you uh, at some point you kind of felt like this person could be the one that this person was serious that this was a stable offer right so seven of cups yeah this talks about confusion illusion somebody needs to be like this person might be imagining you as well fantasizing about you but I i'm kind of getting that they could also be thinking of somebody else or something else there's a lot of offer Okay, a lot of cups. This person is distracted right now. They're not in the right mind space right now, Taurus. Why is the Mother of Swords here, please? Wheel of Fortune. You're going to cut off this cycle is what I'm getting here. You're going to end this karmic cycle with this person. Especially now that things are being illuminated to you. Wheel of Fortune can also mean there's good fortune coming in the way. Okay, you will get the upper hand in this situation soon enough. If you found out that someone may have deceived you or is still confusing you right now, the truth itself being revealed is already a sign that things are becoming a lot better for you, Taurus, okay? Your path is no longer obstructed as soon as you will cut whatever it is that's causing confusion or if this person is the one confused, that's how soon things will turn to your favor, okay? See, the sun card. Leo energy. So with the sun over here, I feel like this person still wants your attention. Okay, that's the thing. They want the attention. They want the spotlight. Um, I'm not saying this to offend anyone, but this is what I'm seeing with the cards. Maybe their personality is they want others to like them, but they don't necessarily like other people. That's why they could be entertaining others. They want the attention. Why is the Father of Cups here? Three of Cups. You guys could also be in this energy of getting back towards a path of joy and happiness. You could actually be opening up to others as well. Or getting some insight and enlightenment from people that you trust. Okay, This is confiding on others. Um, airing things out. Okay, Things that you're not able to say to this person anymore. And you can really benefit from that as well. Opening up to those that you care about. Those that care about you. Family and friends. Slowly you're going to realize maybe that you're going to realize something about who you're dealing with. Okay. Why is the four of wands here? Son of wands. So yeah, player vibes my dear. You wanted commitment but this person thought they did until they stopped putting the effort in. And as the final outcome, Five of Pentacles, somebody is kind of feel like they're going to be feeling left out in the cold. They know that you and them have had this Ten of Cups already. But see, with the Five of Pentacles, somebody's going to be left out in the cold. Somebody's going to be feeling ostracized, a little bit lost here. And that's because there's still that veil of illusion, confusion, and denial over here. You could also be in this tough transition, but soon enough you will get back to a place of joy. This is what the cards are saying, okay? 
We're going to get one, one more card. All right, two cards. Seven of Pentacles and Three of Pentacles. So this means that all your efforts are not in vain, Taurus. Things will yield in fruition on your favor soon enough. It's only a matter of time. Uh, Three of Pentacles means as well, you're going to get the help that you need dealing with this, with this transition in your life. Also, if there's still some confusion about this person, if you still haven't known what it is that's causing them to behave this way, try to do some research and digging. All right? This is what the cards are saying. Try to unearth something, okay? Maybe this time, um, do not put all your energy and time and effort to something you're not so sure of. Learn to hit the pause button and just see what the situation is in a logical standpoint. And if you still need some research, do some digging, okay? You will soon get the clarity that you need. Something will be illuminated, okay? That's what I'm saying for you. So this is your reading, Taurus. I know this is not going to resonate for all, so please just take whatever resonates and leave out what doesn't. I hope that this was able to give you some insight and information. Thank you once again for watching until the end. I'm sending you love and light and namaste.